Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Kramer 512, and I'm joined here by my nephew uh, Johnny. Uh, you can know him, you know him as uh, Johnny Jr. or something Holder Jr. Stuff like that. And uh, we're going to talk to you about the pros and cons of Batman vs. Superman trailer that came out a while ago. I, I, did, a I did a reaction to it. Let's talk about the pros first. The pros were, uh, you know, Batman and Batman and Bat. At the beginning of the trailer, when we saw it, it didn't look like they were they they trust each other at all. Yeah. They didn't look like they. Uh... Why don't you explain? Okay, so it looks like they're just gonna battle it out. They're just gonna go crazy with each other, and they hate each other at first. Then, <laughs> well, basically, they fight each other, try to fight each other to the death, and basically, let's just bring it down. Batman doesn't trust Superman at all. Yeah, and then. Something has been bothering me about this trailer. The last trailer, I'm not gonna say it was yeah, it. that was awesome. Yeah, I wasn't doing. I'm not gonna say it was, but the last second and a half of the trailer, we see Doomsday, we see Wonder Woman, and I, I think, you know, I think they should have cut Wonder Woman out. I think it was too much. I think it was. Too, I think they showed too much. What do you think? I'd say it looks kind of good, all the stuff. I'd say they probably brought out the movie at the end, yeah. like basic plot, and then the only thing I'm crazy about and I'm confused about is in the trailer, it shows Zod getting shocked by lightning, and then you see Doomsday appear out of the lightning. Yeah. That That's just... So that's the question is the question on everybody's mind is is Doomsday Zod? Is he is Doomsday General Zod? Did Lex Luthor turn General Zod at Doomsday? It's like uh, when he sees Doomsday at first, when you look at Zod and if you put the pictures Side by side, you can see like a little resemblance between the face. Yeah. It's like Doomsday is a giant deformed version of Zod, and then he can shoot lasers out of his mouth as well. Yeah. That's just, wow, just crazy. And then on top of everything else, Batman is supposed to go against Superman, and then they team up. I don't get that. It, it, it's like you said before you got on here. It's supposed to be Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Not Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman versus Doomsday. Just asking, who is that? Lex Luthor? Yeah. Okay. He's supposed to be the, I guess, the son of Lex Luthor. Oh. Okay. Or something like that. I don't know. I think, and and I, I, I've been, I had been talking to you guys for a while now. I think, you know. Jesse Eisenberg, uh, of course, you know, who plays Lex Luthor in the movie. I uh, think, you know, they made a bad decision of casting him and all that. The one person, the one person that know that 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 could probably debate me on this is his mother. My sister. Uh, but sadly, she's not wanting to get on my video she's or nobody so I had to get the next best thing yeah. sort of <laughs> but anyway um all right so go so so talking about the trailer and all that talking about the pros and cons I see Batman but I, I don't know what to think of uh what to think of this movie? I've I saw the I 
we saw the he saw the trailer before we got on here and you know i i just i just think they show too much i think they they should have cut out doomsday they should have they should have cut out wonder woman they should have made it all about batman and superman you know what be even more crazy what they showed flash in there just like they start bringing out all the other characters well i That's heard funny. well what i heard johnny was is that they're going to Apparently, Justice members of the Justice League will be in this movie. Apparently, which doesn't do no favors for them because I think, you know, I think before uh, this is what I think they should they should do what Marvel does. They should make a movie about one character, and then they do another movie about another character, and then another movie about another character, and then you keep going and going, and then you get the Avengers. Yeah, You're, they do that. They do. Iron Man, Captain America, Spider Man, they do all of that. <clears throat> then they do the Avengers like that, like you said. Yeah. Which brings all of the characters that you've you've seen a bunch of the characters and the team already in the movie, so you know what's gonna happen basically. What I think was is, is that instead of doing this team up movie, I think they should, you know, let Batman shine on his own. Let Superman shine on his own. Let Flash shine on his own. Let the Green Arrow shine. Wonder Woman. And then build it up until you get the Justice League movie. And that's how, and that's what I think they should do. What do you think? I think, like, kind of like with Batman and Superman, I understand what they're doing because they already did, like, a Batman movie. They did all, all like, the trilogy and all yeah. that. And then they did the Man of Steel. Which got a lot of flack from a lot of people. Yeah. And you can see in the in the trail in the um, trailer he has his Man of Steel costume on. Yeah. So you know this is gonna be like after the Man of Steel and Batman, both the both all the movies. Yeah. But I don't like how I don't like how they brought Wonder Woman in here. There's no like they don't show her until like around the till like the, around the end of the movie. Yeah. And. Basically, I I like the Batman versus Superman thing honestly, but I don't like how they Zod Doomsday Zod. I can understand if they put that in Doomsday. How the freak did he get in here? Mm -hmm. And it's it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know how I don't know what I really don't know what to think of this movie. To be honest with you guys. I have no clue what they're gonna what they're gonna do, but you know I think Ben Affleck uh, is a great Batman. I think he's gonna make a good Batman in this movie. Even though people have been saying you know Ben Affleck is gonna suck as Batman or whatever, but I I really I'm looking. This is one of my this is one of the main movies that I'm looking forward to. Besides Captain America and also Star Wars. But that trailer that we just watched, it worries the hell out of me. It, it worries, it worries me. me. Because it because they showed a lot. They showed Doomsday, Lord of the Rings, and they showed Wonder Woman, which makes me think. If we see other trailers, who else is gonna sh show up? Flash, Green Arrow, Green Arrow, uh, Cyborg. It's gonna show too much, and I and I think I think that's what the bad part is about this tra about this trailer. But I think the good part is, you know, it, it's the first time we see these two together, in one movie, and um. You know, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna let you take it from here. Okay, so what I don't like about the movie is that I know, like they showed Wonder Woman, that was bad. Because what they should do, like what you said, they should like make separate movies about themselves. Yeah, I already know they started making. They made a show about the Flash, so that kind of takes care of the Flash. They did Arrow. They're going to do a new one, a new show that I heard about, which has, like... Called the League of, yeah. League of, uh, League of, of Tomorrow. Yeah. 
I heard about that, but um, I'm talking about like the show. I don't think the show yeah. is gonna be really redacted into it into the movie. I think what they're probably gonna end up in a Flash movie and a Green Arrow movie, but they're probably gonna do use different actors. Yeah, to play the Flash and to play Green Arrow. But I, 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 I the Suicide Squad. Okay, let's go to the Suicide Squad real quick. The Suicide Squad kind of leaned a little bit into this. Uh, dealing with the Joker, dealing with, you know, Harley Quinn, dealing with, you know, how, yeah. Oh, uh, well, dead shot. But, um, um, I can't even talk right now. Um, this movie had, this, this movie has my head all, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say I like the trailer and all. Yeah, it's just why they're they're doing like they're doing Batman, Superman. They're doing them in the spotlight, like they're doing them equal. And then they take Wonder Woman, just okay. Let's shoot her in there. They like, shoot her in there at, around the end of the movie. Yeah. Next thing we know, we're gonna see just a green streak of light hit a enemy, and then a like a red and yellow streak. You're just going to see that. Yeah. That means only one thing. They're going to put Green Arrow and the Flash in it. They might put Green Lantern. They they, they, they don't know who's going to be in, but they might put him in there. That... Yeah. What did you think? What, what did you... When, thinking about the Justice League, uh, thinking about the Justice League and all that stuff, do you think it's a good idea to put all of them in one movie right now? Do you think they should just wait? They should just wait because, like, what they're doing right now in this movie, they're taking them and they're putting two of them equal. Yeah. And then they're just, like, doing, okay, let's do a tiny little scene, tiny little scene with something like a streak, uh, like, green beam of light like from green lantern yeah or like a, just an arrow shooting an enemy from far away yeah i don't i don't like how they did that they did wonder woman they did hurry people it's them three but they they need to wait they need to do movies about them all yeah i could admit i could they could do like kind of like this like with wonder woman <laughs> cyborg like those two yeah and then Flash, and then Green Arrow, Green Lantern together. Yeah. And do those movies. And then they can go ahead and do a Justice League movie. Yeah. But what they're doing is completely wrong. They're Yeah, it completely off the cuff because it... See, Marvel has been very successful with yeah. their films because... You know, we we had an Iron Man movie. We had the we had a movie about Captain America. We had Hulk. We had Hulk. Yeah, we had multiple movies about the Hulk. Actually, we're gonna get our we're gonna finally get our first taste of Black Panther, uh, coming very soon. We're gonna get another Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming soon. What's that movie called? Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two or something like that. I don't know. They um, were like. Something I think the uh, either it said either Amazing Spider Man or the Avengers were gonna team up with the oh no it was Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers and it's uh with Galactus in it this time yeah what I think so Galactus they said something about that well I heard well I haven't heard about that thank you for thank you for reminding thank you for seeing that um we'll probably talk about that in another video I mean. Me and him. Um, but right now it's all about DC and all that. I, I think DC needs to learn a lesson. Yeah, they're screwing the whole thing up. Yeah. The, the See, uh, we're, I'm going to show him here in a little bit. Uh, the C Captain America Civil War trailer. Now, in that one, it doesn't really show all that much. Yeah. It, it, it makes it... It's like this one. It's... It, this trailer for Batman vs. Superman, it's 
telling you everything. You don't really want to see it. In Marvel, they're taking it. They're only taking small parts of the movie and putting it together. Tiny parts, and you're ma it's making you want to see it more. Yeah. It makes you excited to see it. It makes you... Um, I think Marvel... I, th I See, see for, for years, there's been a war between Marvel fanboys and DC fanboys. And... For a while, people have been getting people have been giving bad comments from Marvel fanboys saying "Oh, DC sucks" and all that stuff. Well, DC does the same thing. Maybe. Um, uh, and I was thinking about this. I I was thinking about this. What if you put those two worlds together? Yeah, they made, they made like a video game already. Yeah, they made a video game of that Marvel, and you put took and you took DC, and you made them clash. Yeah, and, like you and see a live action movie. Yeah, you see like let's say Superman, he's in the corner, and then you see Captain America's shield go and hit him. Yeah, that would be cool. I, yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be cool uh, because you know I, I Marvel have been doing a lot has been doing a lot better than DC recently. And it'll finally put the nail in the coffin of who's better, Marvel or DC. Yeah, That's like, how I think this whole uh, comic book war would probably end. Yeah, like like what you said about the fanboys, they would have... It would stop because if they did that, maybe it would stop. I don't know. Because... They, if this doesn't happen, if they don't like decide to work together, or at least make another freaking movie yeah. together, or a game together, they'll just the the fanboys are just gonna go crazy. Like let's say they're like Civil War movie, DC fanboys. Oh hey, this is gay. Or the Marvel, the DC people are saying like, oh this sucks balls or something. They yeah. like just go ahead and like, screw around and say all that stuff to each other. Yeah. That's just gonna go crazy. Yeah. Um. Try to sense yourself a little bit. Cause, oh, okay. You can say what you want, but I don't want your mom seeing this and getting mad at you because you're saying bad words on on here. But you can say it. You can say it in here if you want to. I don't care. But your mom will never see this video. G A Y is not really a bad word. Huh? G A Y is not a bad word. Gay? Retarded? Yeah. I don't say that. Well, there's. Well, it's not towards you, it's towards people who don't know what they're doing. Yeah, these I mean, people are just like writing those on there. Yeah. They're, they're just going crazy with that stuff. Um. But yeah, the, but yeah. Uh, what do you guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're, I'm gonna try to uh, finish this video as good as possible. What do you guys think of the comics, Marvel or DC? Do you think? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. Do you guys think? And and also, what did you guys think of the trailer? What are your pros and cons? What if? What? What? What did you? What did you have? Um, in this trailer. Just comment down below and let let me know what you guys think in the comment section and all that shit. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, comment and comment and let me know in the comments about what you guys think about this trailer, what you thought about it, and all that and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm Mr. Kramer for five one two. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the afterlife. Peace out and happy holidays. Right here. Thank you.